Hey guys, it's Annie here with Universal Parks News today and we are back at the Universal Orlando Resort to see what's new. So let's start at Universal Studios Florida first. The Villain Con sign has come a long way since our last update. Last week we were watching them just put up that orange V against the back. And now we have eyes, we have illuminations, we have minion blasts, lots of stuff going on here. It'll probably even look different by the time I leave today. I mean, I, I just, like three minutes ago said, oh, I'm sure it'll change before the end of the day and they've already started working. Good morning. On the side of the building facing Minion Cafe, they have added billboards for some of the villains. I'll go to the other side and show you, and I'll zoom in a little here. So here's another look at the billboards on this side. We've got Bumblebee here <laughs> interrupting me. So we have the villains on the side. We have a few of them that are almost uh, very uh, briefly mentioned, and then some that you may know, including Vector here. On this side of the building, there's another billboard for Villain Con, and it says, It's that time of year again. making some progress at Minion Cafe, but the most notable thing today is that they've started to paint the walls of the Transformer building blue. Now that kind of looks like a Minion blue. I could be just a sky blue. I, you know, not sure how I feel about it, but it's happening. Over in Super Silly Fun Stuff and at most of the merchandise carts and things around the park, you can now find a Minion Bubble Wand. And I'm sure along my travels, I'll find someone that's using it so I can show you guys what it looks like. I may have a video here, but it kind of lights up, bubbles. It is, let's see, $27? All right, $27. And you can have a Minion Bubble Wand. And it's a Universal Studios exclusive. Pro tip, bring extra bubbles from home. If not, you can buy extra bubbles here for $2. Mardi Gras merchandise is on sale. Everything seems to be 30 and 50% off, depending on the item. I'm gonna need this. I never bought one. $10.99 plus my annual pass holder discount. So it looks like almost everything here. 30% off. Oh, this is very exciting. Halloween Horror Nights dates have been announced and tickets have gone on sale. And now we have a merchandise reveal for 2023. And see you in the fog. Glows in the dark. There's a mug. That is my weakness. Oh. Look at that. I, oh, my weakness. There's a magnet. 
There's a candle. And there's a hat. And as always, you can see more details on all of this, prices, everything like that, over at UniversalParksNewsToday.com. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the dunk or flunk game in Springfield is gone and has been replaced by this smaller basketball game which is right across from the entrance of the ride, which is still behind construction walls. But if you remember a few weeks ago in my update video, I said I thought this was gonna be a register for a new game, and I was right. It's still behind walls over here. This is the spot where the dunk or flunk used to be. And as you can see that new basketball game is where the sledge homer used to be. R.I.P. Sledge Homer. Next stop, Islands of Adventure. We're gonna take the Hogwarts Express. I have arrived at Islands of Adventure in the Lost Continent, and I am going to stop and get a delicious kebab. I'm a big fan of the vegan meatball kebab. I love the vegan kebab. And they come with a side of chips which is nice if you get the tzatziki sauce from Fire Eaters Grill, you have extra chips for it. The All Hallows Eve Boutique has changed a little bit. The display has rotated, so now the spell book and everything is facing the doorway. It's much easier to read now. And we have Halloween Horror Nights merchandise in here too. Same stuff you can find over at Five and Dime. The shirt, hat, candle, magnet, and a mug. And I really like the blue. Nice change. It's 11.30 and there's only a 65 minute wait for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And Velocicoaster only has a 55 minute wait. Not bad. It's a hot day today so Toon Lagoon is kind of busy. All the water rides have weights. But there's something else happening over here. The Betty Boop store in Toon Lagoon has closed permanently. This is going to be the location of the new annual pass holder lounge. It's obviously not open yet. So stay tuned. Curtains are up so you know they're getting it ready. We have some brand new Marvel lounge fly. There are backpacks for Iron Man and Captain America. I love how shiny they are. These are really nice. There is a wallet for each of these. This one like completely zips up. And then this one it's got kind of a snap and then some zipper and card pockets here. And there is a crossbody as well here. We've got some barricades here. Looking like they're blocking off this area. Not really sure why, but... Guess we can't go in there. And there's the stand. It's still not open. There are some more new lounge flies. We have the SpongeBob lounge fly mini backpack and mini wallet here. And you can find these here at the trading company at Islands of Adventure. 
They're also in SpongeBob store pants and the Hello Kitty store and probably some of the other little shops around the park. But it is amazing. And I do believe it might be a Universal Studios exclusive. I don't believe that I've seen this design anywhere else. So if you're a fan of SpongeBob, you may want to order this quickly or make your way over to the park and get one. But I just love it. So cool. And the matching wallet. Well, this is interesting. You can see that the pathway that would take you down along the lagoon is kind of torn up and some of the railings are already removed and there's something going on. The sign says hot set. Looks like they're building something. Curious to see what it'll be. watching guys drop a like on the video if you have a moment subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and I will see you next time